Alright, today I'm going to be reviewing the Bacurro Light, uh, Bacurro Light Chin Guard from Nike. Um, I had these a while ago in this sort of color. These are the sleeves, but it was like that uh, black and orange. It matched my tempos, even though I never wear them because they're soft ground and I hate soft grounds. I don't know why I got them. I guess I can wear them next year just in case I need them because they're too big right now. Um, but this time I got a different color and just so you know, the link I'm putting to these exact ones in the description are very deceiving. It looks as though it's more of an orange red. There's a, this little, the little tip at the bottom as well as going down the side. But in fact, it's this. It's like pinkish. And I don't really care. It's the exact same thing. It looks pretty cool. And plus, it saves you like seven bucks. So, you know. I mean, and that could that could be the deciding factor of whether or not you get them for free gold cup points because seven dollars could be a lot in comparison to how many gold cup points you get for every for how much money you spend. Anyway, I got the large because you know, even though it was only once, I'm not sure. Uh, one of the guys on our team, or our coach, got a yellow card because one of the players on our team didn't have the right size. So from now on. I'm just going to get them, and plus, it's not as if it's just huge anyway, but this is a large, it's for a uh, 5.7 to 5.11, and uh, it meets that stand or whatever, there's your stamp right there, and uh, there's the back, and you know, there's not much to say about it, it's a shin guard, uh, Nike does give you a, uh, it says it meets the stand or whatever, it gives you a little kind of rating system, it rates it, uh, I guess there's five total bars that you can get. It rates uh, coverage, three bucks, or <laughs> three bucks, three bars, lightweight, five bars, and ventilation, four bars. I guess I agree with that. I mean, shin guards, I mean, it has to hit a very tender part, part of your shin. Uh, you have to be hitting a very uh, soft portion of your shin. For it to really hurt, but, you know, shin guards are necessary. I'd rather not get injured, and they're necessary. Um, that you have to, they're uh, mandatory rather, um, to use them in a game. And you know, they're they're really, they look really cool. First of all, you know, they got a blade thing, but they don't look like huge and bulky. They're not too long. Like I hate when they're like huge and they have that stupid like ankle thing. But you no, know, these are, you know, just slip them in whatever, um, and they're comfortable. I don't notice they're there. Um, and yeah, that's you know coverage-wise, what 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 more do you want? I don't know why they would even have a rating system for that, because this covers. I mean, if I put it on, it it doesn't look any bigger than any other shin guard, and it kind of wraps around as you can see. And uh, yeah, I don't see how this has any less coverage than some other shin guard, but regardless, that's what they gave it. Um, protection, you know, it's a pretty decently thick. Uh, shin guard um, kind of uh, shell if you will and then uh, yeah the padding's pretty good it's not like real squishy but you know it's comfortable and again I rarely feel pain at all when I get hit there uh, because if people are going for the ball it's not usually gonna happen but just in case yeah it does offer good protection it is pretty low profile it is comfortable um, ventilation, that's not really, it sounds like there's holes or something except for right there and right there. So I suppose that's where the ventilation comes in. But uh, other than that, it's not a big deal. Um, and it has this little hanger. I, I'm assuming this is where they hung it in the factory, but I have little like pegs on my wall. Um, I kind of hang on there just so I don't lose them because I lost the last one, which so is why this review is taking so long. But yeah, here's both of them. And, uh, they're only going to run you like 13 bucks on soccer.com, which is why I got them. They're the cheapest ones, and they're exactly the same as the others. If you're that bent on the color, well, I feel bad for you, and, you know, if you want to spend the extra money, be my guest. Um, but anyway, it comes with these sleeves that are matching, and I wouldn't fold them. Like, if you do the laundry or put them, just keep them, I would keep them all in this bag provided because I don't want to put these in my drawer because they might get separated but I don't want to fold them because I don't want to stretch them out too much but yeah eventually like these ones they will get they will stretch out and they won't be as useful I would recommend 
regardless of how stretched out your sleeves are. Even if you get, just get these, I recommend you get some sort of stays. I got these Nike ones because I love Nike. So there's Adidas ones as well, and they're like they're thinner and they wrap around. But um, yeah, I got these. They're always they've always been reliable. Um, their Velcro and he's kind of wrapping around your shin guard. Some people wear it like below like that around their ankle. I wear it like up here. Uh, just so it kind of keeps it nice and tight. And you can wear these with this, the shin guards with this, just this without the sleeve. But I prefer to have the sleeve for even if it's just that little more uh, kind of security. So that's pretty much it. I don't really, I'm not going to rate it. It's a good shin guard, so it's, you know, it's going to offer you the same protection as any other shin guard, but it looks cool, it's low profile, so yeah, I'd recommend it. Um, it's the one I get every time. Uh, hopefully I can find my other pair, because I also have black um, these, and um, so yeah, I definitely recommend, recommend getting those, because uh, I've been using my friends, which is the older model of these. But yeah, they look pretty sweet. Eventually, I might get some nicks in here, but no one's going to look at them, and they're going to do the job. So, thanks for watching, and next... Be doing a review on the Bomba 5 turf shoe and the I don't know the Elastico Pro I think it is indoor shoe. So look out for that. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll try to post more videos soon. Thanks.